Hey everyone, welcome back to Crithero. In this video, we're going to be going over the mega game dev assets and tools that just released on Fab. You get 40 items for the only the price of $30. It is worth about $2,800. All you have to do is pay the 30 bucks and you get all 40 items. And it does help with every library institute. Uh, kind of crazy because all the libraries are me shut down. And yeah, so these are a lot of assets by Liardis, and we even have some really amazing ones by Hyper. As we can see, we have these essential VR hands collection asset pack, which is really cool. We have some tools like a procedural spline toolkit, uh, some inventory systems that is multiplayer friendly, as well as this uh, mesh two icon creator, which is really handy, really useful. And then a ton and ton of environments, vehicles, 3D assets, and then also 50% off for the Cosmos website and so on. Let's go ahead and actually open these in Unreal Engine and check a few of these out. So the first one I have here is this convenience store. It's called Nux Convenience. I don't know why that second K just looks like an R. Uh, looks like a pretty, looks like a pretty nice uh, convenience store actually. We have this uh, Choco Pops cereal box, a bunch of candy. So instead of uh, Snickers, it is Runner, which is crazy. <laughs> kind of tell which candies these all relate to. We have some nice trash cans, a bunch of sprays. If you're looking to make like a really hyper-realistic shop simulator or some some sort of like open world GTA type game and you want something kind of, um, kind of realistic. So over here we have ramen uh, and we have peanut butter, some ketchup, hot sauce, just a bunch of cool snacks. This a uh, wet floor sign is in the way. We have these little uh, refrigerators, and then we also have, uh, I'm sure some of these act like freezers as well. Uh, we have alcohol bottles or just bottles that look like alcohol. Uh, we have a little bathroom back there. I can actually go through the door. Really nice fancy looking toilet. This is actually cleaner than I expected. So that's really nice. And then we have these kind of like open shelf fridge that people can just grab from and a bunch of cans, little grocery uh, cart or hand carrier type thing. More cereal here, we got holly mollies, or I mean holy mollies, more choco pops, granolas, all that jazz. And yeah, pretty cool asset, really like how this one's looking. And yeah, let's go ahead and actually just check out the outside. So we have your kind of like common road, we have a little sign, it says Papa's Pizzeria, we got a dumpster here. Uh, this is starting to look like a horror game out here. Got this scary back alley. And then we have a empty, Creepy looking store. What is that? Just a green light. Okay. Out of the side entrance. Let's go ahead and, uh, okay. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and check out the next asset. And now we have the electronic shop demo. So let's go over here to this. Uh, we got this nice sale section. Looks like a little clearance stuff with all these phone cases. And this is actually a pretty big store. This is like, uh, like your local Best Buy or something. Uh, let's go ahead and check these out. More phone cases, chargers, USB ports, uh, outlets and all that. And let's go ahead and check what's over here. We got the new, I guess, older iPhones or Beats and all that. We have some cool, uh, I guess, sticky notes as well as some headsets. This is pretty cool, actually. Taxonic, nice with the cat ears, definitely not based off the Razer one or whatever. Uh, some monitors here. Oh, headsets actually on display. So that's actually really cool. You have the box for it and the actual display model. I actually really like that. That's That's a... That's that's really polished and really well detailed. I, I do really like that. We have these little free Wi-Fi sounds as well as these uh, little ads. So for these ads, you can just take these images to Photoshop and kind of add what you want, uh, customize them how you will. We got some logos. So we got accessories over here. We can see speakers, more speakers. Oh wait, I forgot to check the inside of the aisle. So we've got phone displays, kind of like Apple, different pricings. So that's really cool. These kind of look like they were scanned in, which is awesome. We got some boxes here and more headset along with a hair dryer or something. Then, yeah, so pretty cool asset. Let's, let me look for something kind of unique. Uh, fridges, okay, nice. So we got lots of fridge. Um, okay, yeah, so this asset's great. The only thing that's missing, oh, never mind. here it is, found it. I was gonna say the only thing that's missing is the cash registers, but okay, this is actually pretty sick. This is a lot of damn cash registers. You do, you do not get this much business for selling phones, TVs, and fridges and headsets like you got like three options here bud all right and then we also have these like cool tvs electromart.com don't actually go there i don't know if that's a real site it could be a scam and then yeah uh more checkout section kind of telling your players where to go pretty cool and then we have the uh, little where the demo spawn is and then we got that outdoor area let's go ahead and check out the next asset so this is the game in entertainment area. This is actually one that we've um, we've gone over. I really, really do like this one. 
So there are a ton of different arcade stuff. If you're making like an arcade simulator or going for a retro aspect, maybe something from the eighties, there's just a really wide variety of games. So we got space fighters. We got this little punching machine thing. Uh, this game is called crazy driver and so on. You got a little uh, arcade thing for, I guess, a two player game playing some sort of strip thing. We got these random barber stands. Um, they look random, but I, I guess I get it. There's a little Pac-Man up there. Heart logos, the Liarda Studio, a little hint hint of uh, who made these assets. We got air hockey, just a ton and ton of assets. This is one of my favorites just because of how cool it looks. And I remember when these used to be crowded, but now no one really goes to these, in my opinion, unless there's like a like a sale on Wednesdays or something at Bolero. But yeah, really, really cool asset. We got these little, little rooms of, we got these small rooms of just playing console games. Um, I don't think there's anything TCG related. I know that's been popping off lately. And then, yeah, more, hello, fat character. Uh, we got this foosball table. So it's a little snack table. What are you guys eating? Uh, fries and beer. Nice. Lots of vending machines, lots of vending machines, lots of vending machines. And then, yeah, we got these really cool racing simulators. That would actually be really cool if you made a game within a game where you can interact with this and you actually play a different game of a racing game. And that would actually be really sick. we got a little pool table lounge. Super awesome. And then over here is drink times. Very nice. We got double cheese over there. Lots of fast food. And yeah, overall, pretty, pretty cool asset. And I don't know if there's a room back here. No, there is not. But there's a bunch of little rooms inside that you can kind of go through. I think over here is where you can buy. Oh, no, these are darts. Oh, we didn't see this room. But yeah, looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and check out the next asset. All right, this is the Hero Rest Animation Pack. And just a lot of sleeping and resting animation poses. If you haven't seen those lo-fi videos or something on TikTok pop up where it's like, rest here, hero will continue this journey later and it plays lo-fi or something. Um, I feel like this is what it's inspired from. So we got people playing music and I would assume this is around a campfire, like each class has a different instrument. And yeah, I mean, overall it looks really cool. It comes with a really nice looking guitar, uh, acoustic guitar over here with nylon strings. That's pretty well detailed. That's actually pretty cool. Um, yeah. And then we got more resting animations, some drinking, sitting and drinking, sitting and relaxing, kneeling and so on. Uh, very final fantasy vibes in this asset pack. But yeah, overall, really, really cool. So it is rigged to UE4 and UE5, as you can see on each side. And then we have these uh, little band players over here. But yeah, overall, really cool looking asset. Let's go ahead and check out the next one. This asset is the pizza restaurant. So as you can see, it is pretty hyper realistic. Uh, lots and lots of bottles and I guess olive oil or just oil bottles. We got some dishes of pizza nicely placed on the table on the plates. Uh, fully ready to be eaten. I don't know where all the customers went. guess they weren't really hungry and they're just serving nobody. And then we got these really nice looking pizza assets. We got pizza boxes back there as well as some really cool cabinets. Uh, very realistic. You got pizza in the box over there. Uh, nice tables. And yeah, overall a really, really nice looking asset. You got a little pizza maker in the back there, a bunch of photo frames and so on. And now let's check out the UI and menu system by Hyper. Uh, so this is the demo level that it starts me off with. I've never actually seen Hyper's assets. I've seen them on Fab, but I've, I've never actually opened them to try them out. So let's actually go ahead and see how this is. So I'm going to click enter to start the game. So it's just the demo level. I can hit play. I'll click new. Let's go ahead and start game. This is pretty cool, pretty polished. I'm loving how the, the, little, the little transition of the little animation transitions from character and to the environment and so on. And now I'm in the screen. So I have some background music playing. I don't think I'm going to have that playing in the uh, menu. My controls are all messed up. So my W and S are both going up to where I point and my A and D are both moving right. So it's like everything's just set to the positive directions. I'm not going to get this really weird. All right. Am I supposed to go out here? Okay, there we go. Press I to open your mem. So I'm going to open I. We have this player inventory. And then let's see, we got 36 slots, zero gold, zero weight. We're broke. Um, I guess I didn't get any loot to pick anything up for the demo, but I mean, at least there's a cool UI system. And if you do want to learn from it, if you do want to learn from it, you do have the project here. It's really cool. So there is a localization tab. Let me get rid of this. 
a localization tab to learn kind of how to localize your game, which is really important, especially if you're going to be uploading Steam. Uh, you have stuff for English, stuff for whatever language that you want. We have the hyper content here, so you can see the in inventory blueprints, the uh, blueprint components and so on, or actor components, and then our pickup master and all that kind of stuff. And then we can you can also learn how to create the UI and yeah, overall pretty cool content, really great to learn from, even use in your game and implement or instead of spending so much time implementing, you just get this humble bundle and bam, you have a really nice UI system. So now let's go over the office. All right, now let's go over the office mega pack. So we can see here, we have the, uh, this elevator over here that's not working just, or just has a ladder in front of it, preventing the door from closing. In here, we have an empty room. We have all these uh, little empty desk spaces with some filing cabinets, a clock, and so on. This kind of looks like an anomaly type horror game. Uh, we have a table and a couch here. We have very glossy looking doors, but hey, very nice, very, very waxed. Uh, small chairs, more cabinets. We have a micro, a microwave and a jug, a cool water vending machine, uh, some cereal, snacks, coffee, juice, and all that in cups. And then we have this, um, I guess, sign-in sheet. This is kind of old. But yeah, we have this photo frame, a fire alarm thing. Let's see if there's anything in this room. Yes, we have kind of like a classroom or just a bunch of chairs. What? Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. All right. So annual budget, blah, blah, blah. Just some random stuff drawn here. Profit projections, this and that. A uh, rotating image slide over there, as well as uh, another empty room. And then let's just stay in this area. We got a water fountain with a filled up trash and a water jug printer, printer paper. We got a reception desk with a directory behind it. Pretty cool. We got some nice chairs, uh, really old school looking PC setup with these fat monitors. Uh, damn, I don't, I haven't seen these in forever. And then these color coded mouse and keyboard label along with the VGA cable and all that. Okay. Yeah. I haven't seen, this is like old, old stuff, but yeah, if you're making an old school horror game, this is perfect like this is great or just an old school game in general uh we got some nice boards with some advertisements some uh tables and cabinets a little office kitchen space and so on but yeah overall pretty cool looking asset let's go ahead and check out the next one all right this is the post-apocalyptic urban pack so very california looking vibes with the yellow skies a uh, very nice looking asset in my opinion everything's kind of broken we got this bameshi studio high quality Unreal Engine packages over here uh, as the banner. And then we have these uh, cool broken down little barriers, some really, really big plants, uh, very nice looking asset, broken furniture. Let's go ahead and check inside. This kind of looks like the Left 4, Left 4 Dead door that you kind of have to escape to at the end. Uh, couches just sideways. I mean, you could just fix them up real nice, right? Yeah. You can just fix them up. They'll be pretty nice. We got these fridge over here. Uh, let's see what else. A ton of trash, empty barrels, a broken down hallway with a lot of glowing light, giving a very cyberpunk vibe. Uh, this kind of looks like you're going to an underground club now. And let's see. All right. Very nice. We got this elevator here and here. So this one, the ceiling is empty. And then up here, you can climb in here and you have this kind of like spooky hallway that you kind of have to climb up 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 to and so on let's go back to the uh level and then yeah pretty cool looking asset and we have this kind of open space right here a uh, pretty cool looking asset let's go ahead and check out the next one so over here we have the willow lake biome uh really really nice looking area this actually looks very very peaceful let's go ahead and go a little faster so we got these little lily pads Really nice looking environment, really, really nice looking backdrop. You can kind of see hills and mountains in the back there. A lot of willow trees as kind of advertised in the title. And then we have this very long, never ending bridge. It's just curving me around this beautiful scenery as if it's been untouched by humanity. Uh, let's go ahead and check this out. So we have a lot of grass here, a lot of trees, a lot of foliage. And yeah, overall a really, really nice looking environment. This is kind of the stuff that I like to do if I was going to make a realistic game. Like I would turn this into my my demo scene just because it's nicer than your typical gray box flooring. Although maybe not something of this size because I need it to be 
performance friendly still. But yeah, overall, pretty cool looking asset. And let's go ahead and check out the next one. And now we have this board game room with smoke. Okay, it's a lit up cigarette. All right, that makes sense. Uh, we got Christmas lights, kind of giving Stranger Things vibes, like we're going to try to talk to Will. Um, this bending or this arcade. I don't know what kind of game this is. I can't even read what this says. Dirtle? Yeah, whatever. Uh, we got these photo frames here. Really nice looking outdoor backdrop environment. Uh, kind of look like you live in the middle of nowhere though. A ton and ton of board games all around. So pretty cool. They are modular, so you can just drag them out. We can play this game called Goose uh, for seven adults. I mean, seven to adults. Uh, really, really cool asset. Uh, we got this nice laundry machine, which is perfect uh, in the board game room shop. We got chess, Vin, I guess, or I guess wine. Uh, a lot of cassettes and books and maps. Where is this? Oh, Europe. Okay, nice. Uh, cool. We got pictures of boats, a bull's head. I don't know if that has to do with the logo of whoever made this. Um, a pool table and so on. And yeah, pretty cool looking asset. And let's go ahead and check out the next one. All right, this one's pretty cool too. This is the inventory list by Hyper. Uh, I haven't seen Hyper assets in Humble Bundle before, but this is actually pretty awesome to see. Uh, I've only seen Hyper assets on the free for the month or free for two weeks. So over here we got WSD and space as movement, F to interact, open to, open or I to open inventory. So we got this stuff. I can go ahead and put this in my inventory. Oh wait. Oh wait, give me that back. I was putting it in the storage chest. Oh, that's really cool. So you can see how the uh, the notifications are when I, when I pick up something. So it pops up on the left, tells me the amount, shows the icon of the weapon, and then the title of the weapon as well. So that's really cool. You can also, um, we got little categories. So we got kind of like everything here, weapons, food, scrolls, and so on. And let me click I just to see what it looks like. Yep. So can I actually equip this? No, I can drop it, but let me see what this looks like. Oh shoot. I click escape. All right. Let me actually see what this looks like when I drop this. That's actually really cool. So I click F to pick it up and my character did a little animation and so on and they also teach I, I really like this i just think it's really nice polished demos when they insert images of kind of like a walkthrough of the tutorial i know narrative pro does this too and I, I really really like it um yeah pretty cool and then also the decay timer in case you want things to kind of disappear let's go ahead and let's see can i eat the raw meat i can consume it what happened to me oh i'm totally fine i guess you know that, that's fine so this one will respawn after uh, that long. And then this one respawns in radius, which I have no idea. Do I have to leave for it to respawn? Okay, so that's pretty cool. So it kind of just slowly blends in. I really like that. And then let's see, example map for list base and jigsaw inventory modules. Do not include the UI, blah, blah, blah. Um, so that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool overview of the asset. Oh, we have pickup items over here. To go through the notifications that I was going through earlier. I didn't even see all these, but yeah, that's pretty awesome. And that's going to cover it for this video. This is the mega game dev assets and tools. If you want to help out my channel, feel free to check out the pin comment to, uh, I basically get like a little small percentage of any, any sales that's made. If you use that link, it'll just lead you right to this and it's the same price and everything. Thanks for watching. Like subscribe, comment, what you want to see next. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.